Hi, this is Sean with Lakewood Exterminating. Today I'm at a customer's house with rats underneath their deck. The rats chewed around the lattice and there's burrows underneath the deck. So I just wanted to show you the signs and what to look for uh, so you could look around your house to see if you have rats under your deck or around your house. When inspecting around your home for rats, look around the lattice beneath your deck. These are gnaw marks made by rats. If you see this, you'll know you have rats living underneath the deck. Okay, now that we're crawling underneath the deck, you can obviously see a well-worn rat burrow right there. There's another one. If you look closely inside here, you can actually see a rat dropping. That's what rat droppings look like. Gotta keep going. There's even another one right there. This is a pretty big rat nest underneath this deck. A lot of times when there's rat burrows underneath these decks, uh, we'll come back with a, a meal bait um, with a funnel and a tube and uh, throw some uh, meal bait down there and they, they'll they eat it up because they figure, you know, it's like seed blown in the wind just kind of falling in their burrow. That's one of the best ways we usually control uh, rat burrows outside. But today we're going to start with uh, some exterior bait stations. So these bait stations are tamper resistant. Dogs and kids can't get into them. Raccoons can't tip them over because they're anchored by uh, concrete at the base. And they're locked, so no one can get into them. You need a special key. This is from an older job. Um, we're just gonna reuse this because uh, rodents like stinky old stations. Um, these are the old soft bait packs that we placed in them. They're held by metal rods. Uh, this just looks what it looks like uh, when everything's eaten up. So I'm going to clean it out and replace it and show you where we replace them. So I crawled underneath the deck again uh, to set this bait station. I'll put it adjacent to the gnaw mark so you figure if they want to gnaw on something uh, we'll give them something to chew on. This is another place we put a bait station. Uh, as you can see if you look on the ground there's all kinds of acorns for them to eat. Nice little hiding spot and you can tell they made a little home in there. So put this bait station here. So you always want to reduce the amount of food and water around for rodents. Um, you know, always pick up any kind of tree nut um, and reduce any kind of water source. So bird bats, stuff like this. You're just giving them a nice little happy home. Uh, so beyond the bait stations, you always want to reduce food and water around the home. When inspecting around a house for rodents, you always want to look for acorns and other such objects, kind of wedged in cracks and crevices. You look here, that is a peanut. I'm guessing some people throw out peanuts to uh, feed the squirrels or something, so they're also feeding the, the rats. Whenever there's a rodent problem, I always go around outside and look for the bird feeder. It's a huge food source for rats and mice. If you do need to feed the birds, you can switch to thistle seed or just put enough out for one day. Bird seed isn't the only food source for rats. Dog food is a huge food source. These are dog food and water bowls that were kept outside and this is a crawl space, inaccessible crawl space. So it seems like the food attracted them um, into the area and they found a nice happy home in this inaccessible crawl space. They can't even get to it from the inside of the basement. Uh, it's probably dirt floor, which they love. They're burrowing animals, so they'll they'll go for burrowing into the dirt if possible. You can see here, there's rat poop right there. And go into here. So you always want to make sure you're not feeding them outside or inside with dog food. Once they get inside, they'll eat a whole bunch of dog food so you got to keep them away from that and uh, make sure your crawl spaces are sealed up good. Alright so we are going to get rid of these rats that are in this crawl space. This is the entry point. 
you can see. And this is what we're going to use. We use some tracking powder. And as you can see, it's very powdery. And we use this duster to apply it in there. So, show you how we do it. So we do one hand. Trying to get it in there enough so the dog can't lick it or anything. Just give it a couple poofs. Slow poofs though, so it stays together. Kind of a little pile. And uh, I guess this would just be my example, but and once you get in there, you stuff it with a little loose piece of paper. I'm using my footies, and as long as it's not kicked out again, uh, we don't have to retreat it. I'm going to seal up the rest of the crawl space, leave that open except for that, and that'll be it.